Welcome to Badger Beat, your look at the University of Wisconsin football team. I'm Adam Mertz from the Wisconsin State Journal and Madison.com. Joined today by Ben Wargo, publisher of Badger Nation and BadgerNation.com. Covers all things Badgers. We're going to talk today about football recruiting, in particular the class of 2013. Right now, Ben, six players in on that class. They're looking at a small class again. Can you speak about the positions they have covered and who they're looking to go after yet? Well, they're really balanced right now. They have three on each side of the ball, and I think what they're still trying to do, obviously they want to get a quarterback and a running back. That's what Brett Bielma wants every year is to bring a new guy in. Uh, they're looking at uh, defensive backs. Obviously, you'll lose three defensive backs after this season. They want to kind of get some more depth. Obviously, they want to get maybe another offensive lineman. They're looking at a couple kids and maybe another wide receiver too, but Wisconsin's got a good base right now, and, and with so few scholarships, it's a signal that they have such a good, strong foundation right now for the years to come, where it's not really so many positions of need this year, it's more positions of want, and with the six kids that they have, they have a good foundation already started. Now, a lot of people, when you talk about this issue, and, and you're talking about, hey, they only have somewhere in the ballpark of 10 scholarships for next year, the impression that, that people are uninitiated for this is like, what, you know, are they lazy, did they not get out much and recruit? they are restricted in terms of how many spots they have open coming up off of graduation and attrition and whatnot. Where did, how did they get into this situation? Because you can recruit up to 25, even 28, if you have the bleed over, according to NCAA rules. Yeah, well, Brett Bielma's first couple years was kind of a little bit of a crapshoot where he's had a panic at times and try to fit kids in that really don't fit the Wisconsin mold, maybe you know character issues, maybe academic issues. And that really hasn't been the problem the last couple of years. They haven't, they've lost very few kids in terms of, of, of those kind of problems that plagued them early on. And with, with, with football, you don't roll over scholarships. You don't bank it for a year down the road. You use it right away, and that's why you have a class that's maybe in the high 20s or the low 20s, and some classes that are maybe in the low 10s or high 9s. And you really look at where they've gone right the last couple years in recruiting. They've got brought in kids, they've developed kids, and they've kept them for four or five years. You know, J.J. Watt and Peter Kahn's have been the exception mm -hmm. of guys that left early. Wisconsin kids usually just don't leave early. Um, they, they really have enjoyed the program. They've obviously built a winning tradition here. A lot of kids want to stay and be a part of that. And you look at Monty Ball, for instance. Monty Ball is the perfect example of a kid that loves being here, wants to keep working, keep improving his game, and he stays on. I mean, that's a scholarship that Wisconsin could have used this year that they're going to have to use the following year. And that's, it's one of those things where Wisconsin has really been the benefit of, of having so much success. It's also kind of their downfall a little bit, too. I was going to say, I mean, efficiency in recruiting is a key that Brett talked about on signing day when he was at the state football coaches convention addressing the coaches in the state it was almost kind of a reassurance that hey we want wisconsin kids first part of that is based on the reality that they don't have spots for all these guys and there's been a couple of them that have gotten away recently in this class yeah aj natter went to nebraska and rj shelton went to michigan state um, the problem is that Wisconsin likes to, is at the point now where they can go after these national running backs from Virginia or from Philadelphia or from Texas. And, you know, R.J. Shelton is a, is a good running back, but, you know, they, Wisconsin offered him as an athlete. Well, Shelton, he wants to be a running back in college, and he's gonna, he went to somewhere where they could guarantee that he would stay a running back. Mm -hmm. You know, A.J. Natter, too, he really loves, he really, I should say, he really likes Wisconsin. He likes the program, just that he went to Nebraska, you know, four or five times, and he just loves the campus. And the other problem with Natter, too, is, is that with the whole coaching change that Wisconsin had, that Bob Bostead was Natter's lead recruiter, well, Charlie Partridge, who's the defensive line coach, couldn't reach out to him because he had to take over as the interim uh, recruiting coordinator. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Nebraska stayed on him, and it's just a matter of, of just a matter of Natter wanting to go there rather than Wisconsin. He told me that he would love to go both places, but he just liked Nebraska a little bit more. But, you, you know, you look at where Wisconsin is. They obviously have Austin Ramesh in this class from Eagle River, T.J. Watt, the younger brother of J.J. and Derek mm -hmm. Watt, and they have obviously Chekwe Obese, or Chikwe, I should say, Chikwe. from, from Brook, Brookfield Central, continuing that pipeline. They're still getting the really good kids in this class, and the state of Wisconsin, in terms of high school football, has gotten so much better where there's so many good kids that are Division One quality now compared to where an Alvarez started, where there maybe was two or three um, every couple of years that were really, really good players. So the fence maybe around Wisconsin is down a little bit because we've seen how good Wisconsin football has been. The secret's out. Other programs want to come in here and really recruit these kids, mm -hmm. but it still takes a heck of an effort to come into the state and grab a really good player away from the only state school. Ben Wargo from Badger Nation and BadgerNation.com, thanks for joining us today.